With the start of March comes the end of the extra benefits connected to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. The extra benefits were part of a COVID-19 emergency fund. Uh, and with 400,000 Alabama households expected to lose those extra benefits, local resources are preparing to step in to help. News 19's Mariah Weeks joins us now with uh, one of the options. Good morning, Steve and Lorna. Food banks are stocking up to help community members who will be recovering from the loss of those extra SNAP benefits with grocery prices steady on the rise. And with the end of the boosted SNAP benefits provided by the federal government, those that experience food insecurities will have to look elsewhere. More than 11 million pounds of food were distributed in 2022 alone at the North Alabama Food Bank. Due to the end of the extra benefits, there's an expected increase in food insecurities. Shirley Scofield, executive director at the Food Bank of North Alabama, says the giving spirit of Huntsville will, will enable many to be fed after the extra benefits expire today. Luckily, we're in a very giving community, so we have um, been able to try to get more um, funding through um, grants and through things like that. Um, but we've also had to internally increase our food purchasing budget just to make sure that we have enough food available for the people who need it most. Every SNAP household will now see about $90 less a month. Those looking for assistance can visit our website, whnt.com, for more information. Reporting live this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.